Hello, my name's Tara, and today I'm going to be talking to you about remarketing lists for search ads. So what are remarketing lists for search ads? Well, they're a way of tailoring your bidding strategy and your search campaigns based on how a user's already interacted with your site. For example, you might want to exclude people that have already converted, or perhaps adjust your bids based on how likely they are to convert. Remarketing lists for search ads work in a similar way to standard remarketing, but obviously you don't have any image ads and they work within your search campaigns, so you still have keywords and all your other targeting in place. To use them, you need to use the AdWords remarketing tag rather than the Analytics remarketing tag, and you'll need to have over a thousand visitors on your list before they'll work. So now we've talked a little bit about what they are and how they work, let's look at some ideas of when you might use them. So a really nice one is to increase visibility when you think someone's close to purchase. So you could create a list where you know you've got on that list people who have visited your shopping basket page but haven't visited your purchase confirmation page. So they've looked at the basket, they've added something to it, but maybe they haven't completed the purchase yet. These people are more likely to convert later down the line. Perhaps they were at work and browsing and wanted to finish the purchase when they got home, or perhaps they're browsing on their tablet and then are going to make the purchase on their laptop later on. So you know these people are close to purchase. You could then apply this list to an existing search campaign and adjust your bids so they're slightly higher for this audience. And what this would mean is that you'd have a great ad position when these people are searching. And it's worth paying more for that ad position because those people, in theory, are more likely to convert. You can exclude converting visitors this is a great idea if you are a lead generation site and once you've captured someone de someone's details, they're not valuable to you anymore. Um, obviously, if people tend to submit multiple inquiries or might need you at other stages during the purchase process, then it's important not to exclude them. But if once you've got their details, you don't want to show your ads to them, you can create a remarketing list for search ads list that will exclude all converting people from your current search campaigns. And that just stops you wasting impressions that perhaps wouldn't get clicked and also just wasting ad spend. If you want to encourage repeat purchases, a great way to do it with remarketing lists for search ads is to tailor your ad text so that it offers some kind of incentive. For example, thanks for being a loyal customer, here's 5% off your next purchase. You do this by applying the remarketing list for search ads in its own unique campaign. You can tailor your ad messaging in other ways too, so if you know that the person has already purchased or is close to purchasing but hasn't quite purchased, you could adjust your ad text so that it um, offers some kind of incentive for them to complete the purchase or gives them some kind of reassurance. So your ad text might emphasise your easy returns policy or the fact that you've got 28 days to return something. You can use remarketing lists for search ads to bid on things that you wouldn't normally bid on. For example, say you're a mobile phone retailer and someone's bought a mobile from you. You, were, you might not normally bid on mobile phone cases because they've got a low return. But because you know that this audience has already purchased from you and is quite likely to purchase again because you've already built up trust and a relationship with them, you can bid on terms like mobile phone cases and show those ads purely to people who have already purchased from your site. So this way, you can reduce the wastage of just targeting such a generic term to a wide audience because you know that the audience you are targeting have already purchased from you and are quite likely to upsell and buy a mobile phone case. So if you don't normally use AdWords because the ad spend just doesn't seem justifiable, remarketing lists for search ads is one way to make it more justifiable. So you, with remarketing lists for search ads, you're not just targeting users who have come to your site via AdWords. They could have also come to your site via organic traffic or any other traffic source. Because of this, you can build up a really good list without even using AdWords, and then you could use AdWords with remarketing lists for search ads to only target people who have already visited your site because you know they're probably closer to purchase. For example, if you rank really well for digital marketing agency, um, and that's something people might use at the start of their search, but you know that you don't rank so well for something a bit more niche like SEO specialist, you could use remarketing this for search ads to advertise on the term SEO specialist to users who have already visited your site previously. 
So though that term would normally be really expensive and might not convert that well, you know that that user's already seen your site and perhaps they're further down the funnel now and ready to purchase. So those are just a few ways to use remarketing list to search ads. There are a lot more things you can do with them. If you'd like more information on setting them up, feel free to follow us or contact us on any of the following social profiles.